Hey friends, my name is C, and today we'll look into 5.4 for modeling with volumes of relation for the questions video for the LSL A11 for the maths core pure 1 module. And we'll start off with the first question. And these questions are from exercise 5D from the textbook, so you can check it out. So here's question 2, or the first question. The diagram shows half of the outline of a rugby ball, right here. The outline is modeled by the, cur is modeled by the curve y squared equals 4 times 16 minus x. The measurements are shown are, in, are given in centimeters. By rotating the curve through 360 degrees around the y-axis, find the total volume of the rugby ball. So we're given this curve right here, right? And we, we're given the, the equation y squared equals 4 times 16 minus x. So we know we have to rotate this about uh, or like around the y-axis. So we know the volume is equal to the general form is equal to volume equals pi times the integral of the bound from a to b. Of, um, of x squared dy, x squared dy, and we're given y squared, so we have to rearrange to find x squared, right? So we know that y squared equals, oops, we, we know that y squared equals 4 times 16 minus x, 4 times 16 minus x, like so. So just to rearrange to get x, so it will be y squared over 4 equals 16 minus x so x equals 16 minus y squared over 4 so to find oops sorry so to find x squared we just square both sides so we square both sides um a bit square both sides so it will be x squared equals 16 squared will be equal to 256 to 256 and 16 times by minus y squared over 4 we get this minus 4 y squared so times by 2, we get minus 8y squared. So minus 8y squared plus y to the power of 4 over 16. Like so, right? So we have this equation here. So we can now find the volume. So volume equals pi times the integral of x squared, which we already found right here. So just put that into the equation. So 256 minus 8y cubed. Oh, sorry minus 8y cubed plus y to the power 4 over 16 dy from the bounds are minus 8 to 8 right so minus 8 to uh, minus 8 to 8 and we now just have to integrate it so it'd be pi times the integral which is equal to 256y minus um, sorry, this should be minus 8y squared, no, 8y cubed. So, so my apologies, so minus 8y squared. So integrating, you get uh, 8 over 3, minus 8 over 3y cubed, plus y to the power 5 over um, 16 times by 5 will be equal to 180. Um, sorry, this is just 80. So over 80, um, close bracket, and from minus 8 to 8. So put this into a calculator by substituting y by 8 and y by minus 8 and take away or like find the difference between those answers and that will get you a fraction of 32,768 over 15 times that by pi to get you a final answer of 32,768 over 15 pi and the units we know that we're given in that are all given in cm cm so the unit will be in cm cube, like so. And for the next question, the diagram shows a cross section of an egg timer, which has a height of 16 centimeters, the whole thing. The shape of this egg timer is modeled as a solid of revolution of curve C about the y-axis. The curve C has equation x equals a cube root of y. Sand flows through the egg timer at a rate of 8 cm cube per minute. The designer wants the, the, the designer wants the timer to empty in five minutes. Calculate to two decimal places the height of the sand that should be placed in the top half of the egg timer. So this is very important. The height of the sand should be placed in the top half of the egg timer. So we know that the sand is only placed above y equals zero, right? So the sand, so the bound will be the lower bound will be y equals zero, and the upper bound we can set let's say set this point as a, right? So we'll just let's just, let's just read through. So we know that the sand flows through the timer at the rate of 8 cm cubed per minute, and the designer wants the egg timer to empty in 5 minutes. 
So we define the volume that, is, that flows through in those five minutes. So we know that in one minute, it's equal to eight cm cubed that flows through. So in five minutes, just have to times by five, which is equal to 40 cm cubed. Therefore, what this means is that in, in from, from y equals zero to y equals a, this volume right here needs to be 40 cm cubed. So the way to find what A is, is that, is that we can just basically set up an equation for the volumes of revolution. So we know that V, the volume, will be equal to pi times the integral of x squared, which x is cube root of y, so it's cube root of y squared dy from y equals 0 to y equals A, right? That would be equal to 40, like so, right, 40. So 40. So now we can just uh, find the, the missing value of a by just doing some integration and substitution and perhaps some rearrangement. So let's just do that. So we go to pi times the integral. We first have to just expand the, um, this part right here, right? And you have to integrate it. So pi times the integral, um, it'll be y to the power of two over three, two over three dy equals 40 equals 40 so we can now just uh, divide uh, divide both sides by pi and integrate this whole function right here so the integral will be equal to 2 over 3 plus 1 is equal to 5 over 3 right divide the coefficient which is 1 divide by that you get 3 over 5 y to the power of 5 over 3 from 0 to a equals 40 over pi like so so substituting y by a minus substitute sub, minus substituting y by zero, but we know if we if we substitute zero by y in this case or like y by zero, it's just zero. So we can just ignore this case. So it would be three over five, a to the power of five over three equals forty over pi, like so, right? So we can now sorry we can now divide both sides by three over five from here. Um, from here, so 40 over pi divided by 3 over 5, we get us 21.22. So a to the power of 5 over 3 equals 21.22. And what we can do now is that we can just raise, raise both sides to the power of 3 over 5 to get rid of this fraction right here, this fractional power. So raise both sides to the power of 3 over 5. This ultimately gets us a equals 21.22 to the power of 3 over 5 and that gets us to, uh, A equals 6.25 So A equals 6.25 and the units are in CM So like so And the final question The diagram shows a vase with a base, base width of 10 CM and a height of 20 CM the edge of the vase is molded by the equation x equals 5 minus root y. The vase is formed by rotating the shape through 360 degrees about the y-axis. Part A, use this model to estimate the capacity of the vase. So what we, what we have now is that we have this curve right here, and we have to find the volume contained from, from y equals 0 to y equals 20. So that's just normal integration, right? So part A, volume, oops, volume equals pi, times the integral of x squared because we're rotating about the y-axis so it has to be x squared so x is 5 minus root y so 5 minus root y squared dy from y equals 0 to y equals 20 so expand the bracket it will be pi oops, pi um, pi times the integral or the, the bracket will be 25 minus 10 root y which is y to the power of 1 over 2 plus y dy we can now just integrate it so pi times 25 y minus um, 1 over 2 plus 1 will be 3 over 2 divide the coefficient 10 by that you get us 20 over 3 so minus 20 over 3 y to the power of 3 over 2 plus a half y squared from 0 to 20 so we can now substitute y equals 20 and y equals 0 but 0 in this case just makes everything 0 so we can just ignore the 0 so substituting y by 20 in each case 
will get us, um, let me just put it into my calculator, calculator. So 25 times 20, minus 20 over 3, times 20 to the power of 3 over 2, plus a half a times 20 squared, will get us 103.715. So pi times 103.72, let's say. So we'll just times it by pi to get an answer of 325.83 cm cube. So 325.83 or just 0.8 cm cube. And that's the answer for the, the capacity or the volume of the vase. So part B, the vase is initially filled to a height of 10 cm. When the flowers are placed in the vase, 50 cm cube of the water is displaced. Determine whether the, the vase will overflow. So what we do now is that we know that the whole thing is 20 cm. So we need to find, let's say 10 cm is here, right? 10 cm. We need to find what volume this 10 cm corresponds to. And once we have that volume, we can just add the volume by 50 cm cube to, um, to see whether it exceeds the capacity of the vase. Okay? So we define what, what, the, what volume it corresponds to. So volume, uh, volume equals pi times the integral 0 to 10 of 5 minus root y squared dy. We already have the integral right here, right? So we can just sub, we can just put it in. So pi times 25y minus 20 over 3, y to the power 3 over 2, plus half y squared from y plus 0 to 10. And that gets us, if you substitute it, if you substitute y by 10 and multiply by pi, you get a volume of 280.2 cm cube, right? So that's the initial height, or so that's the initial volume of the vase when the height is 10 cm of the, the field height of 10 cm. So let's just add 50 cm cube into this. Because 50 cm cube of water is the space, that means we're adding a 50 cm cube because the whole thing um, gained by 50, 50 cm cube. So 280.2 cm cube plus 50, that will get us, oh sorry, 280.2 cm cube plus 50, we get, that will get us 330.2 cm cube. And we can clearly see that this right, right here, it's greater than the capacity of the vase of 325, uh, 325.8. So we can, conclude, can, we can conclude that since this volume is greater than the capacity of the vase, that means it will overflow, right? So since this is greater than 325.8 cm cube, um, cm cube, therefore, therefore a vase will overflow and that's the final answer and this is for this 5.4 for modeling with volumes of revolution for the questions video and if you have any questions you can comment down below and i'll reply to them and if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources you can check out my website in the description and this is our last video on volumes of revolution and in our next video, we'll move on to a new chapter, which is matrices, which is an important branch of mathematics because it's the foundation of linear algebra, which is fun and interesting. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe and happy learning.